And I just turned back to her in disbelief. I said, what? I can tell you it was June of 2009. <laughs> it was the last time somebody caught me red-handed. I was performing for two women at an event. And I turned to this woman and I did something amazing. I made a card appear in her hand, you know. And I turned to this woman and started to do the second half of the trick. And in the middle of that, this woman over here said something I won't repeat because I, I don't, I just won't repeat it. It's not that it could be bleeped out. She just said something sexual in nature. And it caught me off guard because it, she went over, over the line quite a bit. And I just turned back to her in disbelief. I said, what? And the woman on my left reached up and said, what is this? <laughs> and she pulled the card right out of my hand. So palming is a thing. You palm cards. Palming is a magic secret. You can secretly hide cards in your hand. And if you think about the design, I'm supposed to talk to this woman. And if I'm at, if I'm turned this way, nobody can see the thing. There's, there's nobody behind me. It's my body's here. So nobody can see this card. But because I turned back to address this woman, like, <laughs> oh, what, she what, got without it, yeah, no hesitation, she reached in and said, "What is this?" And it, it was got great. It's, I mean, I mean, what am I gonna do? Get mad? You know, it, we all laughed. It's hilarious. Uh, so that was the last time that I got really busted hard. Like, there, I have, I got nothing. But <laughs> moving forward, people can say things. I think you did it this way. But that doesn't mean they're right. That's just a myth. That's just in their minds. So I don't have to worry about shutting people down. Like when I put a deck back into order, people say, oh, you switch decks. Well, they can think that, but the rest of the audience is smart enough to know that those cards never went out of you. So it's it, it it's it's very difficult for the audience to say, I figured that out. Last time somebody thought you were really doing magic. There's been a few, depending on how much alcohol they've had in them, I've had a few people that just are saucer-eyed after the trick and put the cards down and say, I'm not into, I don't want to watch whatever the hell you do. I don't understand it. And they walk away. That to me, that is just great. Man, never had somebody like the devil, get the devil out. Oh my them, right? God. I have a YouTube comment. One of my favorite YouTube comments. Yeah. Clearly you've sold your soul to be able to do the things that you've done. And I have pity on you and I will pray for you and all this. Stuff. And it's like, and the comments like this long. So any, they're going to pray at their church for me and all that, because obviously I've, I've, I've done in some sort of dark deal with the devil and because no one should be able to possess these kinds of skills. I mean, or it could be practice. <laughs> How much will you generally have to practice a trick? Like how many hours would you say that you put into it this before it's ready? This is going to sound terrifying, but there are tricks that I have practiced for literally three, four years before actually doing them in front of people. Um, it's just, I, I can't mess up. My character doesn't allow for me to make mistakes, which means that it has to be, it has to be perfect before it comes out in front of people. Um, so I typically practice two, four, six hours a day, sometimes more, um, I take some days off from time to time, but it's a full-time job. I sit there and go over old tricks, moves.